be louder than the radio. Can you handle that? <laughs> Sir! What do we got to do? Be louder than the radio. <laughs> Sounds like you can't do that. No, I can't. My Poor guy. He can't be louder than the radio. Because he's going to cough every time. It's true. Makes my throat dry out like a son of a bitch. I'm so sorry. Is it Thanksgiving yet? No. It's only Thursday. Oh. Oh, yeah. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving anymore. Yeah, now that we've decided we're going to worship uh, Pele. Pele? I don't worship Pele. But she's sexy as hell. How do you know? She's invisible. Maybe to you. What? You mean she's not invisible to you? You've seen her. Constantly. That's disgusting. So? When are you going to make your sacrifice? I already did the first one. How did it go? Ah, uh, we had a bit of splashback. Oh crap, the music's over and this stupid girl is talking now. I fucking hate you. Not real. Yeah, I do actually. You don't even know her. I hope she dies slowly. Uh, oh look, I think she died slowly. Thank God. Woo. Yeah, good thing, because I couldn't yell over top of her anymore. No, she's louder than the freaking music. Yeah, it's weird, huh? How oh, weird, it's deliberate. They do it so that you'll hate them. And the secret sound. Oh my god. The secret sound is, um, the sound of a fist hitting a face over and over again. The secret sound. Uh, is that Donald Trump taking a crap? No, I think that was Donald Trump kissing his wife. He was like, how dare you try to kiss me? Catch this! Yeah, I could see Trump doing that. Yeah, since he, like, puts his lips as tight together as he possibly can, like a tight little butthole, and then moves him to the side when he kisses his wife. But when he kisses his daughter, he opens his mouth almost like he wants to stick his tongue out, but he knows cameras are watching. Uh, yeah. I, I... I mean, can you blame him, though? His daughter is moderately attractive. So is his wife. Well, yeah, but his wife is old and all stretched out from all the donkeys he made Yeah, apparently he hasn't looked in the mirror at himself, if that's what he's thinking. And what is he doing, calling himself a donkey? Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? To call him a donkey would be an insult to such an animal. Actually, there probably is not an animal on the planet that we could call him because it would be an insult to such animal. I, I like donkeys. You know what? We could compare him to... You know that one monkey that has a weird dick nose? He kind of looks like one of those without a dick nose. What do they call that monkey? Has the funny blonde hair and a naked face. Has a naked pink face. Kind of a dick nose. Kind of a dick nose. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, actually. Which nope. is sad. I guess we're going to have to look up that monkey. I'm going to have to look it up. Hang on a second. Monkey let's with ask, a dick nose. Let's ask Google. Gooks, I got a question for you, bitch. Hang on a second. Picture of monkey with naked face and dick nose. <laughs> Naked face dick nose monkey. Naked face dick nose monkey. Okay, it's thinking. Oh, look it, there's one right there. Big nose monkey in Borneo. See, look it, there's a picture of one right there. Oh, yeah. That okay, does so kind of look like, uh, kind of look like Trump. Yeah, let's listen to the video. More than a little bit, actually. That's... Yeah, you know what? You know that the naked dick nose monkey, he does kind of look like Trump, except for Trump didn't get the 
big nose. He got the asshole mouth. Well, I don't think there's an ass mouth monkey. There might be an ass mouth monkey. I mean, maybe some of them get dick noses and some of them get ass mouths. The one thing we can agree on, though, is that Donald Trump is without doubt high. High? No, related to a monkey. The, the dog's just like, hey, I have a tongue. You see it? Quit making the announcer. Yeah. My fellow Americans, <laughs> I regret to say that we have indeed elected a monkey as our president. I don't know how the fuck this happens. I think Zach's getting sick. I've been sick. You just haven't let me alone long enough to stop being sick. And you just said my name. No, I didn't. I never said Jeremy. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I said you Jeremy. fucking dick. I'm sorry. Joseph. And besides, like you said, most people that watch your video, they didn't even speak English. Actually, um, now the UK has overtaken Poland. What the fuck, Poland? Did you see how fast I, I thought we were bros. <gasps> I can't believe that you would say the F word all the time. Have you met me? No. Oh. Not for a while. Like, 20, 40 years Well... When I, you were born and your mom was like, oh, looky, and I was like, oh, looky, and mom was like, you just so cute. And we were in the hospital room all alone, just mom and you and I. Right? Yeah. All right, that's I mean, we were in the tummy together, right? Well, I'm surprised you managed to make any noises that were even remotely understandable. English. That's, that's pretty impressive. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, being as young as you were. Well, but I was the smart one. Yeah. Because, remember, Mom used to put those headphones on the tummy so we could listen to Beethoven and stuff and other smart things, and they were always on my ears, and you were, like, always trying to push me out of the way so you could hear. No, I... I, I have no idea what you're talking about. That thing right there says I'm going 35 miles an hour, 34 miles an hour. It's really anal retentive. I know. It's like, oh my god, you're going 36. What do you think's more important, urbanization or writing? We don't have any way to make paper. Oh, I guess somebody better start growing out. Alright, we're going to go with writing. And we already have... But you don't have to write on paper, Dead Duck. People wrote on stones and trees. Well, that's alphabet and whatnot. We already have that. But we need to learn writing on paper so that we can deliver manifests with our trading goods. Keep track of records and stuff in a way that's transportable. People wrote on cloth. People wrote on all kinds of stuff. You don't gotta write on paper. Well, yeah, but I wanted the paper so that we you could roll You could write points. on dude's back. You could be like, dude, we're gonna write everything on your back. You're not allowed to wash until you get there. And then when you get there, it's part of the agreement that you get shower. You're the stinkiest guy ever. And they got to mark the manifest off before you shower, okay? okay? Don't you sweat, bitch. You sweat, and it gets messed up, and you die. Right. No shower, just Or death. just a tattoo. Why would somebody want it permanently on their body? That would be weird. Well, I mean, they are slaves, probably. Do you guys have the Actually, ability? no, I haven't invented slavery. Do you guys even have the ability for, for tattooing yet? Well, I don't know. I mean, tattooing is just stabbing somebody with something that's covered in, like, ash and water. <laughs> um, should we go for weaving or fermentation? Fermentation, I mean, it's much better for everybody to be drunk than clothes. Yeah. At least if everybody's drunk, nobody will care if anybody's fat and ugly. We're gonna build an embassy in Tibet. An embassy in Tibet? Why would you want to do that? Uh, because Tibet's gonna be our bros, and Tibet and Zululand are gonna help us wipe the Germans out. Zululand? Zululand. <laughs> the Zulu were fucking badasses. I know they were. Do you know what? They have these really big straw things, and they can go... 
Uh, did you see the dog jump? She was like, oh my god, I thought I seen a Zululint guy with a big straw and he was gonna fucking shoot me. Yeah, that's exactly what she was thinking, too. Why did you cuss one? I don't like it when you say that word. Don't talk like that. Bad. Hey, do you think I can invade Tibet? I've got two guys with swords. Well, just wait a second. So you build an embassy in Tibet and then you're gonna invade it? Well, but they have horses, and they I just... They only have two guys with swords. How are you going to do that? I'm quite sure they're... The they have iron is. and horses. I'm just saying, if I let them grow, and they have iron and horses here, they will completely destroy everything. I'm quite sure that their population is greater than two guys with swords. Um, let's see. I have four peoples, and from what I can see, they have one peoples. What? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. This game is retarded. It doesn't make any sense. Well, chances are the one really represents like a hundred. Well, if you have to choose between Tibet and Zululand, definitely go with Tibet because those guys in Zululand have straws with, with sleepy darts in them and they'll eat you. They're cannibals. And they eat monkey brains. I was more asking because we're like right next to them. We don't want them to eat Trump's brain. What? Is that what it is? I'm... I'm Trump of the Ottomans. Obviously. Well, shit, if I was Donald Trump, I'd just invade everyone. Alright. If I'm Trump, let's kill these fire truckers. Hey, you know what? There's this book called Trump, the Last President that was, like, written in, like, the 1920s. Well. I would read the shit out of it. That's it, you son of a bitch. Hey! How dare you call mommy a bitch? Um. Did mother get birth? Book written in the 1920s called The Last President Trump. That's the same author. Alright, and you know what? Since I'm okay, Donald did Trump... did you hear that? So, what? the book is called Trump at Dawn and the Russian Trip. That was in the 19th century that somebody wrote that book. So, I mean, and that's by the same author that wrote Trump the Last President. I see. Trump the Dawn, the Last President. Let's talk to Grammy. That's right. Fuck the her. last president, Lockwood Warwick. Well, it sounds like a hell of a book. It's a children's book, just so you know. The other one, the Trump, the Dawn, and the Russian Trip, that yeah. one, they're all children's books. Cool. I just think it's hilarious. Because it's not like back then dude knew that Donald Trump was going to be president. And how close can you get not knowing anything and guess that dude's name is going to be Trump and Don? He's like, Trump the Don. Trump and Don. Uh, Don is like a common title for, um, shit, I think it's a Spanish thing. Okay, well, anyways, it is a Spanish thing because if you look at the cover of the book, the little boy has these ugly looking. It's Spaniard not, things. It's not really ugly. It's just very girly, I guess. And maybe it's just because I'm not born in the 1920s, but I'm not necessarily thinking that that's adorable or anything. And he has the little paint boy haircut, you know, kind of like Donald Trump has now, except for he has a lot less hair because he's going bald and he doesn't want us to know it, so he wears that monkey ass on his head. Yeah. Well, he's, he's like, I am a dick face monkey. They cut my dick off so now you can see my asshole mouth. <laughs> He's definitely still my favorite president of the United States no. in the year 2017. What? Nope. What, would you, would, would, do you prefer the other president of the United States in 2015? 
Hillary Clitoris? Uh, Hillary Clinton will never be president because she'll never be honest about her sexuality. Yeah. If she'd tell everybody that she was a lesbian, she'd get all kinds of votes because people would be like, she's gay and she's a woman <laughs> and she's ugly too. There you go. She's got the vote of all the ugly people. She got the vote of all the lesbians and all the gay men. And she got the vote of all the women. That doesn't leave very many people left that didn't vote for her. Everybody well, else will just vote for her because otherwise their wives will kick their asses. Okay. If you don't vote for her, you're, you're gonna, gonna be in trouble. And I don't cook dinner for you or anything. But they won't be able to like threaten them with no sex because they already don't have sex. So, you know, that whole, that whole thing that people say, oh... I'm going to cut you off, that whole thing, that's a full floor. Right. Once you get married, you never have sex anymore. Well, of course. I mean, everybody knows that. Only porn stars still have sex after they get married. Yeah, but it's not with each other. Yeah, and Mormons. Obviously, I mean, we got lots of evidence that Mormons have sex after they get married. We do? Yeah. They've got lots of kids. Kids aren't evidence of sex. That's evidence of a robust genetic modification program. Well, I would say that I know some people that have had sex at least 14 times. <laughs> I can prove. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look um, at who? You look at that. No. Well, I guess we're done. And honestly, uh, now, now that I've killed Tibet, which I think is, you know, a thing that we should just do in general, uh, I feel like I have succeeded as the president of the Ottomans. Wonderful.